we're on the set of the Starship Enterprise Next Generation class. Correct. Now, uh, tell me your names and what we're doing here. Uh, I'm Aubrey West. And he's also secretary on our board of directors. And I am Houston Huddleston, the founder of this insane project. <laughs> well, obviously it's not insane. You're obviously wanting to re restore the, the ship, or the bridge of the Enterprise, and then also do a sci-fi museum. So how cool is that? Extremely cool. I mean, that's, uh, as the story goes, and it's a true story, I found this bridge sitting outside. It had been sitting outside for five years outside of a Paramount warehouse, and they had completely forgotten about it. And so I worked out a deal with uh, some of the people, and they shipped it over to my house. And I just figured, okay, this is great, but what what do I do with this now? And uh, I uh, then I contacted Ronald D. Moore, and I contacted Brandon Braga, and Brent Spiner, and Don Delancey, and they were all on my side, miraculously. And so was Bill Shatner. Nice. B Bill Shatner sent us headshots saying, I hope this helps with your fundraising endeavors, which blew my mind. Um, but anyway, all these amazing, powerful people in Hollywood came to, you know, rally behind us because we were saving a piece of history. How many pieces of the actual bridge do you have? We've got the entire bridge. I mean, the, the ceiling, as you can see from the pictures, we've got the entire ceiling. We've got uh, all, you know, all the well panels. We've got everything except the. Uh, uh, there, there are little pieces missing here and there, but some of it was just so damaged from being outside for five years. But the bulk of it was all made out of fiberglass and plexiglass, and uh, so we were very fortunate in that term because. The thing is, the bridge we have was a display bridge. It was built the same time as the Vegas bridge because the original bridge was blown up at the end of generations when the ship crashes. That was the original bridge that they shot on for seven years. So then they said, oh crap, what are we going to do now for display to publicize for this and that? And so they built our bridge to put on display. It, I think it went to London and Germany. And then it sat outside for five years. That's amazing. That's amazing that you actually found it and so many people are getting behind it. Now, you want to do the sci-fi museum. Where are you looking to do it, and what are you, what what sci-fi well, pieces of sci-fi history are you looking to put into it? Well, the, uh, the this is the schedule. By the end of this year, we'll have the bridge cosmetically totally complete and perfect. And uh, guys, one second, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, so by the end of uh, two, uh, 2013, we'll have it completely done for Paramount, uh, and they're giving us a sound stage, and probably one of the original sound stages that uh, the show was shot on, which blows my mind. And then by 2014, we're talking to a San Diego uh, airspace museum to put it on uh, display for, I don't know how many months, maybe half a year to a year, I'm, I'm not sure. But we want to expand upon it and make it not just the bridge, but the corridors and the extra rooms, the uh, ready room, 10 forward, possibly Quark's bar, and possibly... Well, it's like what you walk into, it's a room, you know, so that's the problem. In, until real holographic technology gets to that level, it, that's because we talked about that. Sick bay, didn't you talk sick, about we, sick, yeah, bay, yeah. sick bay? Yeah, sick bay, medical bay, and also the uh, the engineering room, yeah. right. and also the original series bridge I would love to have. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, it, it's like, it's, you know, it's like a, the gi a giant set of toys, but that everybody can play with. Well, and that's what I was going to say, is because, you know, obviously Nerdables is a collecting show, and you're sharing, like, one of the coolest collectibles but you're, and you're not just hoarding it at your house you're putting it out there for everybody to see and to play with basically this is a by the fans for the fans effort here tell me where can the fans go to help the cause newstarship.com that's our website we have, we're selling t-shirts uh, twenty dollars towards the or you could donate any amount of money and yeah we'll, anything helps yeah we're all tax deductible and nonprofit uh, the, the crazy thing of this I when I called up all these people I said okay we've got to now that we're 501 c3 or whatever it's called we've got to come up with a board of directors and uh, Aubrey is the secretary and I figured okay who else do I who can I trust to put on this board of directors I said, okay I'll call up I talk about balls. I, I called up Ronald D. Moore, the creator of Battlestar Galactica, the redone version, and all those wonderful Trek, the, the best of Trek, right. the best of both worlds, and all this stuff with Braga. And I said, would you be on a board of directors? And he said, sure. And then, 
Rick Sternbach, who designed pretty much all the, the details and the phasers and the ships and everything. He's on our... Uh, uh, Andrew Probert, who created the Bridge of the Enterprise and the actual ship. Uh, golly, uh, I, I'm in constant contact with the Akudas and Herman Zimmerman and all, and Brent Spiner is uh, supporting us. It's astonishing. It blows my mind. I couldn't get these guys gardeners on the phone, much less them on the phone before this. So uh, yeah, we're go to newstarship.com. That's the best way to newstarship.com. Is it is it newstarship? <laughs> no, it's newstarship.com. I believe it's newstarship.com. Uh, uh, on, the, on the site, you'll see an introductory video with Houston himself right here talking all about it. And Brandon Braga. And Brandon Braga. And, and uh, Ronald Nemechek D. Moore. And Ronald D. Moore. Right, and Ronald D. Moore. So is there going to also be video of the actual restoration itself? Oh, yes, well, definitely. Yes, we're doing that as well, as thanks for bringing that up. Yes. People keep thinking that, okay, now you, you got this, now do it. Well, no, this is like a $600,000 project that we're doing for 60000 So until, you know, we, we're doing it all with not just donations but help donations of time and favors and, and if anyone wants to donate their time or their their expertise and you know where would they they still contact through the site is there like a contact or is there anything special that they would need to do we're on facebook too they could contact us there we're on we're on facebook Facebook's we have our great. yeah it's a great way to contact facebook us facebook is what facebook. made us yeah. get to this level <laughs> yeah. i mean honestly See, two days after Two days after we posted a little page that said, hey, you know, we're restoring the bridge, and we had some photos, Sci-Fi Channel did a story about us, and it just went viral yeah. all over the internet. It's like, oh my oh, God, I didn't, I didn't know what, to, I, I, you know, I, I was up for like five days straight yeah. without sleep because I was just so, yeah. what, do so I do? what do I do, what do I do? Oh, but our, our ultimate plan of this whole thing is by 2015-16 to have the very first permanent sci-fi interactive educational museum in the world Very cool. that has never been done before and we've got all these supporters not just Star Trek but some other people I can't name yet but they're very famous directors who are helping us put this together well, and what'd be cool with it is to get some of the older films that most people don't even remember anymore you know Forbidden Planet you know two, uh, what 200 million miles from the earth yeah, yeah. Robbie the robot still. and and also Maria from Metropolis right. and Metropolis yes definitely well, we want to have we want to incorporate everything we don't want we're not about exclusive exclusivity if I can ever say the word we're not you know we want anything that we can pull off that's sci-fi that will enrich and inspire and educate people that's what we're all about that's great so don't forget you can go to newstarship.com to check it out, to to leave your donation, or to actually help these guys out. Now, can we, because we didn't actually say it, what's the Facebook page? It's uh, Enterprise Restoration is on Facebook. Enterprise it's, Restoration? Yeah, just type in uh, Enterprise Restoration and you'll find it. But newstarship.com will take you to everything, our Twitter, our Facebook. Facebook on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good luck, guys, and I can't wait to be, visit the museum. Me either. <laughs>